Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to install a Cardo Pack Talk Bold in a Nex X Dot Villajord helmet. It's the same helmet, or virtually the same helmet, that Touratech uses for their Aventuro Traveler Modular Adventure helmet. So these videos are sponsored by Pacific Motorcycle Tours, so come check us out at packmototours.com. Uh, motorcycle tours, motorcycle rentals, and parts all available here at packmototours.com. Also, if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment, or uh, subscribe to this channel where you'll get a full collection of motorcycle uh, maintenance videos, uh, oil changes, spark plugs, air filters, uh, final drive, all kinds of maintenance videos here on this channel. Okay, so like I said, today we're going to install a Cardo Pack Talk Bold uh, in this Nex X Dot Villajord helmet, uh, virtually the same helmet that Touratech uses for their adventure modular helmet called the Aventuro Traveler. Uh, there's a couple of minor uh, differences between the two helmets, and I'll point those out as we go along. So, you guys ready to get started? All right, let's get to it. Okay, one of the first differences in this next helmet compared to the Touratech helmet is uh, there is this side compartment here on the next X dot village or to put in your uh, communication unit uh, on the Touratech version. Uh, this doesn't exist, so you can uh, mount your uh, Pack Talk Bold right on top of this, but we're going to go ahead and mount uh, right on top of this, anyways. Uh, the other thing I understand is that uh, underneath the helmet there is a, a slot stitched in for the cables to route through, um, but that's actually not a problem because the way this is designed, there's a plastic piece that tucks up under here and there's plenty of room for the cables to come back down here, wrap around, and then come back out. So um, uh, not a problem for us. So. Um, uh, that's that's one difference, and I'm going to show you first where we're going to put the um, uh, the pack do pack talk bold uh, mounting hardware. Okay, um, I'm going to mount this, like I said, right on top of uh, the uh, the door there, and all the way down at the bottom of this lip is where I'm going to put this. Okay, so that's where it's going to attach. Um, the actual mounting plate is is right here so i'm going to actually push this just up here so i hope you hope that's a good look for you on where that actually uh where that actually sits so let me pull the tape and we're going to go ahead and get this mounted first okay. we want this flat piece here on the bottom, this slotted end is where it's going to slide in. And I'm going to get it right up here as close as I can. And then we'll give it some pressure. So you can see we put it right over that door. And there's still plenty of actual helmet for it to stick to as well. Okay, this needs to dry for 24, or set rather, for 24 hours. Um, before uh, you actually take it out on a ride. So uh, budget that into your time. So you can see this is going to slide down on top of that. You might think that that is in the way, but it's not. It opens and closes with no problem at all. So uh, that's going to be perfect. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is take out this collar. Uh, unlike my Schubert E1, which has pins that stuck up in here. This is actually all molded, so it's actually quite nice. Um, this is more difficult for my fingernails than I can. So you can see that's where these two lock in here. So we're just going to pull that out. See how that just pulls out? Pull it backwards. Okay. We're going to pull that all out. Both sides. Okay, let me thread out these, the buckles on both sides. 
Okay. And the buckle on this side. Let me get that one out. Okay. And then go ahead and open the helmet. And then there's just a couple of snaps. That one's already come out. That we're gonna unsnap here to get these pads out. Okay. There we go. Okay. Nice and easy. You can see there are actually uh, recessed areas for speakers. There's some channeling for the wires all built into the helmet. So I have with me both the JBL speakers and an older set of speakers. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you that the older set of speakers fit just fine inside the ear well there. I hope you can see that nice and clear. Okay. But the JBL speakers are just a little bit too big. They just don't, you can see they don't quite fit in there. So unless you want to modify the ear area and this plastic, uh, I'm not going to use these JBL speakers. I'm going to use my, my traditional ones. Okay, I've put the one speaker in there and you can see how I've, it fits inside this ear well and it's routed underneath this little cable clip in this uh, channel that they provided, which is very nice. There's also some channeling in up, up here, and we're gonna tuck the extra wires right there where the battery pack goes for the, the next comm system if you wanted to use their comm system, but I prefer my Cardo Pack Talk Bolt. Okay, now on the other side, I've got the other speaker. I'm just gonna put that in. I'm moving it toward the most forward position because that worked for me on my other Schubert helmet and I'm going to tuck it underneath this uh, cable guide as well. Okay. As I mentioned before, there's some other channeling up here that I can use as well for the cables right there. Okay, so that's in. All right, so for the microphone, let's find a good spot here. So I've got a nice flat area here where I'm gonna mount on this side um, so that I can get a nice stable mount over here. Plus this hole, if you can see, this hole right here is one of the cheek pad mounts, so I want to—I don't want to interfere with that. So I'm going to put my uh, Velcro right here to mount the microphone. Okay, so I've found my spot here. Um, I'm going to remove my backing for this. Okay. Both of these are mounted into position. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put the mounting plate on, and I'm going to wrap these wires, as you can see, right underneath here. Uh, I'm going to connect the microphone and then route this back here, and the speakers are going to connect it back here in the uh, battery compartment. Okay, that snapped into place. These wires are going to get routed all the way back. Snap in the 
microphone boom and let's find a good place to tuck this away. So you're going to notice there's a gap in here, which is where I'm going to tuck that microphone connection down into, okay? Down in there. I'm going to get this other wire in there nice and neat. I've got that where I want it. We're going to take these wires into this battery compartment right into there. Okay. So that's where I get to connect these together. Actually going to take out this foam, push everything down in there, and then stick the foam back in. I like that idea better. Now look at that. That looks nice, huh? Okay. wiring right here. There's some channels for the wires to run through, so I'm going to get those in their channels. So let's see. If we can get this back in nice and easy. So that's a nice fit there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And their snap should be snapped in, in this spot right here. Yep, these two little clips. Clip those in. See the wires? No, no stress on these wires at all. But they're nice and, and tight. Okay, good. Let's snap in the cheek pads. Okay, so these cheek pads are route the lock, the latch, me latching mechanism back through my little slot there. Okay. and then into its spot. There, it's, you heard that snap. One right here. And then one down here. That microphone boom sticking out, perfect. I'm gonna tuck the ear pads down in there. Get the other side, so let's get the other half of the latching mechanism through. All the way through. Again, there's one all the way back here. Make sure you get it through there. Okay. One there. One right there. Tuck these in. Okay. Look at that. Nice solid fit. We 
we got it. Okay, there we go. That was a pretty easy project, huh? So uh, we installed the uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold here on this next X dot Villageord. I haven't uh, mounted in the uh, the actual Pack Talk yet because I want to make sure the mounting plate uh, sets for 24 hours. Um, again, remember this is the same helmet as the virtually the same helmet as the Touratech Aventuro uh, Traveler. Uh, so you can see here. Got the microphone boom. Give you a little bit of a close up there. Underneath. All we've got is just the two wires coming in. So uh, quite a fine project. Everything worked out uh, just, just uh, marvelously. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, remember these Videos are sponsored by Pacific Motorcycle Tours. Come check us out at packmototours.com. Uh, motorcycle tours, motorcycle rentals, and parts all here at packmototours.com. Again, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment. Uh, would love it if you would uh, uh, subscribe to this channel. Lots of uh, videos on all sorts of uh, maintenance projects for your R1200 and R1250 uh, BMW motorcycle. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.